Hi y'all, today we're going to be talking about the Pulsar C, the Manu Sovereignty's Long Range Carbine. Its fire rate is 577 rounds per minute, with a damage bottle of 167 dropping off to 125, a decent muscle velocity, a fast reload speed at 2.6 long, 1.67 short, and a fine ammunition pool of 30 rounds. Its hip and aim stats are quite good, and it is comfortable to use. It works very well at long range due to its high damage model, and it works good at close range too. Because if you wish to commit to it, you can run the laser in the short barrel and turn this thing into an absolute destruction in close range, provided you can land headshots. The Pulsar C is very well rounded, you can make it work pretty much everywhere, it is also on the cheap end. It's, it's just a good carbine, you know? It feels comfortable to use, it hits hard, and it just does good damage overall. So, in the way of attachments, you can either build it for close range or you can build it for long range. If you're going to build it for close, I'd run a 1. If you're going to run it, build it for long, I'd recommend running a 2. Uh, the 3.4, the 4, and it even gets access to a 6x, they're all kind of junk. Unless you're really going for a really weird long range build, I would probably stay away from anything bigger than a 2. But if you want to run the 6, be my guest. In the barrel, in my opinion, you can either go with the short or the compensator. If you're going to hipfire build, obviously the short barrel works excellent in conjunction with the laser sight. If you're going to go for long range, take the compensator. Heavy barrel is junk. Suppressor is okay, but I would personally shy away from it. In the rail, you have a lot of options here because you've got your grenades on uh, your grenades on uh, your grenades available to you. Yeah. Now, I would personally either go with the angled grip, the grip, or the laser. The angled grip and the grip is up to personal preference for ranged combat, it really doesn't matter what you use. If you're going for the hipfire build, take the laser obviously, the extended mag is junk because 5 rounds don't matter when this carbine already is such a fast reload and 30 rounds. And I would personally stay away from the underbarrels, but if you wish to run them, that's your decision. I would just recommend running with the laser or one of the grips for making it more versatile for the range you wanted to perform. The ammo slot is... You can make an argument for running high velocity, and you can make an argument for not. If you're going to use it at close range, I would probably stay away from it, just for that little bit more max damage range. If you want to maximize the 7-shot kill range with the 143 damage, it is a fine pick. Um, it's just not, like, huge. You don't need to run it. By no means do you need to run high velocity. You can, you can pretty safely run with it or without it. So, now, of course, into the alive section, I want to... Man, I don't get to join combat sometimes. Why is it taking me to the Ascent when there's a perfectly balanced 50-50, 24-48 at Crux Mining? Maybe one of these days I should have a talk on join combat, because seriously, yikes. So, the Pulse RC, as I've been saying, is very well-rounded. You know, you can build it for close range, you can build it for long range, you can use it in both ranges, even if you have the wrong build, quote-unquote. It's just an extremely comfortable weapon. That said, the recoil pattern is a little strange and will probably take you a couple shots to get used to due to its heavy for shot recoil, and in general it does pull quite heavily vertically. That said, once you get it down, it is very comfortable to use, and it hits very hard, meaning you can use it pretty much everywhere. Very interesting someone would choose to build a ramp there. Ow. God bless medkits on the light assault. I don't understand how people run C4 so often instead of medkits. So the Pulsar C is just very comfortable to use, you know, it's it's just a very good carbine. And in all honesty, it could be your first new carbine on Banu. In fact, you could even argue to replace the Solstice with the Pulsar C if you're new. It's that good, and at only 650 certs, you know, it's it's good for the price, too. In general, it's just a very nice carbine. There's actually not that much to say on the Pulsar C, because it's, it's extremely well-rounded. It is exactly what you want out of a carbine. It is relatively easy to control recoil, it has high damage with a good time to kill, it's accurate the hip if you wish to go that way, and it's good aimed down sights if you wish to go that way. It's just an insanely comfortable, versatile carbine. It's, you know, it's well-rounded, and it works well no matter what situation you throw it at. And in that regard, it's exactly what you want out of a ranged carbine. Bonoop's development have clearly hit the nail on the head with this thing, because, you know, if you could only run one carbine on Bonoop, this would be a very, very good contender. It's that well-rounded. I want to go. I want to go to Crux Mining, but the run combat's on cooldown. Man, man, that blows. Okay, there we go. I don't know why it didn't take me there beforehand, but whatever. So of course, I'm just going to use the gun for a bit. 
Um, and you know the drill by now, or at least I hope you do. Um, yeah, I might, I might talk a little bit about other stuff, I'm not sure. Uh, but really, what I'm trying to say at the end of the day is the Pulsar C is just a good carbine. You know, it does everything you'd want it to do. I don't think it will surprise you, but, you know, if you have the mechanical aim to really take use of that 167 damage model at close range, it, it is very, very effective and very deadly. And, you know, that's exactly what you want out of a carbine like this. And, with its great versatility, you could argue it pretty much straight outperforms the Solstice in every way. So, you know, it's just, it's just a great carbine. Ow. Of course, sometimes it won't always, always do you well, but most of the time, it'll do exactly what you need it to do. Unfortunately, this is not a very good fight, but it is Crux Mining, so I wasn't expecting much anyway. The biggest thing I'd say with a Pulse RC is learn to control the burst. This gun can become inaccurate relatively quickly if you aren't outbursting it, and if you don't know how to control the recoil, it can also be quite punishing quite early. But, you know, once you get this gun figured out, you'll probably do very well with it. It's just very well-rounded, you know? It's a, it's a great carbine if you're going for one of your Bonnie Directive Carbines, or your, your Araxian for your Directive Carbine. And honestly, it should, it's probably a must-have in your list. It's that nice to use. It's good, it's nice to use, it's comfortable, it's versatile, it's everything you want out of a weapon in this game, especially on the Light Assault. It's traits pair excellently with the, right with the Light Assault, and, uh, it's, it's just a great gun. Ah, and I trade with Dark Force. I know he's probably gonna watch this video, so, ha. Dunk on, kiddo. So, yeah, it's, it's a great carbine. There's really nothing to say about it that, you know, sure, it's rate of fire is a little low, but for a faction that's not NC, 577 is on the upper end for 167 weapons. It's, it's just a great carbine, you know? It's legitimately hard to find things to complain about with it. Because it just does everything so well and so reliably. And even though I've literally not used this gun in three years, because I basically dropped this thing after I got the reaction with it, I'm able to just pick it up and do relatively well with it. I mean, I'm rocking a 1.7 in an arguably shitty fight. Like... It's an insanely easy carbine to pick up, especially if you already have experience with other carbines. Because it's just going to feel like, you know, another high range, uh, another high damage carbine. And, you know, in that regard, it's great. It's it's a great little tool. So, you know, that's... Honestly, that's really all I have to say on the Pulse RC. I know I was repeating myself, but... There's not really a whole lot more to say with this thing, because it's just that good. It's exactly what you want, and it should be included in your Bonnie Directive Carbine Axioms. Because, you know, for the price, it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. It's just a shame that the rest of the Bonnie Carbine lineup isn't nearly as good as this thing. You know? There's good odds that this this carbine will probably be your high, high point of your Bonnie Carbine Axioms. Which is good, but it's, you know... It's kind of sad when the only serious competitors in the Pulse RC's effectiveness on Vanu are the VX6 Tac 7 and the Horizon. So. You know. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Nonetheless, it is a, it is a very good carbine, and I absolutely recommend picking up. Even if you're a new player and you really hate the Solstice like I did, I would honestly recommend picking up the Pulse RC. Obviously, do your abilities first, but. The Pulse RC is a very, very good carbine to learn on. And with its reliability, there's honestly no better choice for most players. So, that's all I have to say on the Pulse RC. Thank you again very much, and I will see you tomorrow with something I haven't quite decided yet, so see ya!